Okay, let's see how this continues. We're playing the Refusio run, which is basically all about one lone hero tra traversing the dungeon by herself, or himself. And we're gonna do it with Mizzy. Nice! Nice! And yes, I'm building lots of industry for her to start here. Alright, let's see here. Um, I'm tempted to get the Prisoner Pod 2 at this point, just because it's cheap. And I'm trying to, like, you know, get the Science Pod at this point, I think. We got food right here. There's a gouge. There's a merchant. All right, so here's the good thing, basically, about you know. Uh, last floor. Basically, if you didn't see it, I basically went through the last floor and bought all the stuff from a desk merchant. And I've got all this stuff basically to sell if I need to. Or I will sell it because, you know, I'm gonna have access items if I don't. We're essentially running through here. And I've already said this in like the you know the previous episode, but I think this will be a really fun run. This is all stuff I want, but hmm. I guess I'll hit the all duck shards. I forgot that I was going to go, you know, do the research for the odd dot, but whatever. You know what, let's get pepper spray. I forgot, so we'll get pepper spray. Alright, so, thought pro 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 broken commentary. I'm liking this run because basically it's all about controlling one hero. And basically, you know, having to think about like where you're putting defenses and such with just one hero running around. And not having to operate stuff, which is kind of nice. I like operating in a way, but you know, I like this idea of just using one hero to run around stuff. Let's get her a little bit more leveled up. These heroes, when they die, they, uh, don't, they can't be healed, but they can be resurrected in this game mode. the doors up here a little bit. Alright, so here's a bad thing. I basically gotta run away at this point. And rely on a little bit of defenses to kill some stuff.
Actually, you know what? We'll use my new SE Blasters over here. So I bought some SE Blaster technology from a research artifact. Time to make use of it. Yeah, let's prove up here too, finally. Let's open up this door. These are basically really slow, but they do a lot of damage when they fire. Lots of damage, really. Like, insane amounts of damage sometimes. When you level them up, they get even more powerful, too. The SE Blasters. There's my exit. A good find. Let's build those there. Now, that's going to be scary when that happens. When that happens, shit is going to go down. Oh, of course, now my hero is a little bit weaker. As if I need that to happen. up this. This will be used to the weakened monsters that are on the approach. I need four, 46 uh, signs, so I need to wait three more doors. This is back online. Hindsight, these are probably too weak at the moment to be really be using, but whatever. I put down some messy blasts to sort of showcase them a little bit, and they're good against mobs and stuff like this, so they're not a terrible choice. All right, danger junkie two. Now, I've already said this, but Mizzy's basically one of these characters. Um, or I haven't actually said this yet for his, for his run, but Mizzy's one of these characters where it's all about basically leveling up her, her as fast as possible. And I'm actually able to do this very easily because of the fact that she's very easy to level up being a, a native. And the fact that on top of that, um, she is also uh, getting all this extra food, I guess, from this, you know, level layup for whatever reason. But here's the rub, I guess. While Missy gets very powerful as she levels up, and it's in your interest to level up her as fast as possible, I kind of wonder if I get might be better if I, if I had like a you know a crew member or something, which 
over the long run, would probably be more powerful than her. Because even though they take longer to level up, they basically have other attributes going for them. And that's done. All right, industry. I open this door. I steal a. Hey, there's something I like. Heroes gain more attack while the uh, heroes lose speed. It's not a terrible module. When you want to kill stuff, you know, with your hero, like I am right now. Self power. An artifact to get this. I will say it's kind of stupid having two of these, like you know, research modules when there's still lack, you know, little science you can use. But oh well. Let's see here. I'm going to go tear gas. Neurostun. Prisoner prods. Pepper spray. Hollow hero. Now nah, we'll go with these for now. I've already stated that these, uh, the SD blast is a little bit weak early on. They'll be stronger later on. Ah, it's fun to watch him getting blown to smithereens. I get that next turn. What am I saving up for next, I wonder? Maybe I'll get the smoking gun. I need to have, like, a better weapon to prisoner prize for later on, so... Oh, it looks like we got elite, um... Or maybe we don't. For a moment there, I thought we had elite, um, chimeras. It would've been fun to fight. Smoking gun. And there's dude. Get some repairs for that stuff, I guess. Alright, let's see what dude is offering today. And we'll get some food here. Ooh! A dust merchant dude. This is okay, but I'll have to wait till like the end of the floor. You know what? I never actually just sold this to the, to the um, food merchant I had. That's a bit of a oops. I, I kept that all that stuff to sell to a merchant. I never actually sold it to the merchant that I found. I wanted to wait till like the end of the floor and I forgot all about him. No HP on him, but whatever. Oh, we got these damn blobs. Let's see, let's go down here. What do I got to research next? Uh, I guess I go for Hall Hero 2 next. 
I really wish the size module would pop up. I think I am able to get them, so... Hopefully I find our merchant to sell my stuff that I forgot to sell him to. I'm gonna load up Mizzy here just for a simple reason that it'll give her enough DPS to kill those Hernas. Without her having to resort to, you know, another attack to kill him. Nice items. You know, it's funny, I've gone through about five flo floors and I haven't used a single active ability for Mizu yet. That's not really lasting too long against these guys, but it's proving a little bit of a distraction. And it looks like this guy will keep going after it um, if, you know, maybe he's in a room with him. A nail going sound. Of course, this gets the EMP pulse up here. The room I did not want to have that hit, but well, well. Oh, well, gotta open some rooms to basically, you know, do something about that. Animals go. Of this. Let them come from my corridors of death. So go this way. up well enough. Open up this door.
little bit of dust here and there. Let's get our hollow hero up. I can see this being a more mobile if you be a little bit more meticulous about your, your, your decisions and such, but you know, give enough time to be, you know, one that, you know, can be very enjoyable in the long run. This I I've been like playing all these like different um, you know, ships to try and like, you know, learn about them all, but also show you case them all to you guys. I don't think much about like say the army pod or um the uh the other pod that I used first. The infirmary pod. But they are interesting nonetheless. This one though I think I would want to play again offline. I think that could be fun, playing this offline, this, you know, this, this game mode. Am I getting close to the X, I wonder? There we go! This guy can sell this crap too. And it's all science stuff too, so... That'll help me out a lot. Now I can do some research. Let's see here, I can go for... This is not a bad thing to get, but... I need to really level it up to really make use of it, and it'd be costing a lot of science to do that. Um, let's get... Tesla... There's industry generator 4, but do I want to spend that much science just to get it? I'm gonna say... Maybe I'll save up for that, sure. There's the last four of his dungeon. And at this point, it's going to come down here to the dust merchant and say, Hello! Bye bye bye. Okay, I gave myself a, a rice wind, a rescue kit, and dehydrated water. This is useless to me because I can't use extenders. Um, the rescue kit is questionably useful. I'm gonna say this is probably the best thing to have. So now I can sell this, you know, all this stuff to the science merchant to get even more science. So... More science. And it might, it might be nice to say pick up the Drugomatic or... Um, the other t-shirt. Look at the defense of that damn thing. But, um, I'm gonna say we'll hold off on this and hope for stuff to be dropped. I think speed is definitely modified a little bit. I'm pretty sure Sokka only gives you free speed, so... Maybe you're getting a little bit, like, um... A quarter more speed on your items, perhaps? That'd be interesting. I think I'll go one more level up after this, so we'll just have an easy run to the door. <laughs> Don't really check the time. <laughs> yeah, that's a great thing about the elevator, there is no damn monsters. I forgot to check the time, but whatever, let's go to our floor. Do -do -do -do. Nothing really in here.
Nothing really in there. There's a Widowmaker. Get a little food there. There's a Crutchy. Can't use weapons immediately because she's not a weapon character, but whatever. Oh, we got the advanced of these guys. And of course, this room slows me down because, you know, of the toxic cloud. There's a stele. Oh, look at that. That's going to be glorious for my industry. More industry and food. Open up this room. Boom. This is the god in our level. And of course, there's nothing here. Uh oh. Book too soon. We got this guy. Alright, I'm going to build one industry there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that's enough industry and food to be used, but whatever. Let's go. All this stuff. Neuro Stunner. Tear gas. Let's build a hull hero in here. A Tesla module. Smoking gun. Why? Wow, we'll build one of these two. Hey, research. Boink. It's gonna be really bad if a bulldozer shows up, but whatever. Hopefully there's no bulldozers. Let's go this way. There's the death merchant. He's offering me stuff for industry. I may want to get that stuff, but I don't want to get the items just yet. And he's not going to get killed or anything like the other merchants, so... Let's go down here. That Toxic Cloud's gone, which is nice. A hand vacuum! That's a good item to find. Get Pilfer. Or not pilfer, but pickpocket. And speed. That's no real damage to that stuff. I'm good on it, I think. Let's go do a little bit more research, I guess. I certainly got enough science for it. Um, I'm using lots of the prisoner prods, but it's worth it to get other stuff too, so... Let's go for pepper spray. A t-shirt. Does that reduce my speed by 2.5? Gives me that much, you know, additional defense. Probably worth it. 
I should note that the defense is kind of calculated an odd way in this game. Oops. Probably past that point. Scary those like, you know guys that basically, you know, will keep going and going and going. Open this door. More research ability. I see Blaster 2. Running out of science to do research with, but that's to be expected and you know, this type of gameplay. Smoking gun looks good. Everything's working pretty well. A couple more levels to get Mizzy up to level um, 15. But yeah, I'm already halfway through, through the game. I've almost got our max level. That's nice. Uh... I'm just gonna build these here. There's the way out. I guess look at that, because it's, you know, research. Crap. There's another one of those guys. Let's open this door over here. Level up. Lost power there, apparently. I'm not too bad, you know, annoyed at that, I guess. There we go, I found a merchant. Gonna quickly sell all this crap to him. 
And I'm gonna note by the way at this point, it's probably good to go do death dealer and just you know deal with him because I can't move that merchant because I don't have a shop. So buy all this stuff. Scope, a spare mag. Yeah, I know this stuff I really care about. There's some more food. And Mizzy is now max level Mizzy. So there's maximum power of Mizzy. And this is really what you want to get when you're using like the native characters, their max levels. When Mizzy gets to like the max level here, she's like, you know, a beast. She's got huge DPS power, she's got um uh, basically, the ability to like you know go even more DPS when you need her to. Like this is insane. This like increases her. This will basically incre uh, make her attack speed really really fast when you ha have it like you know battle mass is free with the, her attack count of one point free. And her attack uh, cooldown goes down when you basically get to like the level fifteen on her. So this will be fun with Mizzy now. Lots of fun. And I guess we'll try and go for a smoking gun free next. That's the last one. And let's power those up. Okay, solar thing I'll plan to sell. Off we go. You know, it's funny how I avoid having Missy die. I assume at some point she will die, but... Eh. So die when she dies. Okay, that's gonna be it for this episode. We got through another three levels. And we'll see how far I get with the next levels. So for now, take care.